Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Back in February of this year, I let you know that the Windows 11 snipping tool would soon let you trim your video recordings with a feature that will give you basic video editing capabilities. And that was being tested in the Insider program. Now, if you are using the snipping tool and the video recording feature, just to let you know now that the app's new trim feature is rolling out to everyone as an update and download from the Microsoft Store. So just to show you how this all works in real time, if we head into our snipping tool, we click on record and using Win, Shift and R, we can capture part or all of our screen. I'm just going to go full screen and we click on start. And yeah, we see the screen is recording and I'm just going to do one or two things just to give it a bit of a timestamp where I can trim to just to show you for this simple example. And we stop that. And yeah, you'll see after you capture the screen recording, the trim tool appears here at the top of the preview screen. And if you click on that, it shows a slider here at the bottom that you can use to adjust what part of the video you want to keep. But it's pretty basic, as mentioned, where you cannot do multiple trims or split the video into multiple parts. So just take note, you can only do one trim, either from the front or from the back. So I'm going to go from the back. And just to show you a very simple example. There we go. I'm going to stop it there. And then what you do after that is you click on the apply button. And that will apply those trims and that trim. And yeah, we'll see if I play it back, it'll stop where I trimmed that video too. And there we go. So very basic, but nonetheless, better than nothing if you are using the video screen recording feature. And you can also save that to your local drive once you've edited that um, screen recording. And as mentioned, a couple of months ago, was in the Insider program and has now made its way into the stable version of Windows 11 as an update through the Microsoft Store. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.